Okay. All right. Hey, folks. We're back again. It's me, Prang, who's muttering away in the background. Clicking? What are you clicking? What are you doing? It's gone. What? What? Oh, wait a minute. Did I take the zeal out? You can take the man out of the zeal, but you can't take the zeal out of the man. No, I can't find one of my trucks. Have you tried behind the sofa? <laughs> oh. It's the gas. No, I was going to take out the zeal. Oh, there's the car marshal. Found it. At least it tells me where all my bits and pieces are, look, on the map. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just going to be a mush of letters by the time you're finished. Yeah. So, what's going wrong here? What do you... I don't know. Oh, maybe I probably I should go into Global Ski Map. Global going Ski Map. Going to Tamir. Going to Drown the Lands. So, what are you looking for? My zeal. And have you, did you have it in... Tamir? I've not been to Tamir. I'm not going to look at your screen. No, I've not been outside the garage. I know, I know. But still, I'm still not going to look. I mean, I've not been into um, Alaska other than no. the little bit that we had yeah. to do. That we no, did. I've not been outside the garage. Ooh. I've just... No, 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 no. Oh, flip. What have you done? Oh, I've rolled it. I just bumped into this rock. Uh, truck storage. Ah, wait a couple. minute. Leave garage ski. Handbrake off ski. Let's get going, Konski. Oh, this I wonder. I have weird. up. I have uploaded. I have upgrade. I have. Oh, I've got more levels. I might be able to upgrade this a bit. There Crap. he is. What? He's there. But how do I get him? Deploy. Back. Local map. No, I don't want local map. I want global map. I want. I want. Zimnogorsk. I want Michigan. I want Black River. I want a garage. I want to go in. It's weird because I managed to get the. I got them all in the garage in Black Red River, and I drove the... Wait a minute. Oh. I'm gonna buy the autonomous scout winch for the... Um... This is interesting. I think, you know how we were saying, like, if you've bought one of these attachments, like a, you know, a crane or something like that I think you can actually share it between them without having to sell it back and forth because here I've got stock scout winch times two um, so what's I that mean times two well I think that means I've got two in my sort of inventory so to speak okay deflokski spare wheelski snorkelski Frame add-on ski. Roof rack. Still a long way away before I can upgrade that, or, you know, access that roof rack. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. So if you look at my uh, uh, screen for a sec, uh, yep. Prang. So this is the current stock bumper that I've got. Yep. But if I got there, there's one called Two Loops, and it's got two loops there and there. So I reckon that. I don't know, but that could give me extra places to um, hook onto. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know really. I mean, they I don't know. I loops. could be totally wrong, but they had those loops on um, on you know jeeps. I don't quite know what they're for. Yeah, I, I don't either. But Going selling a few things in here that I've got extra of. Um, I've got a bit of Rakuda playing on my. Uh, yeah, yeah, me too. Oh, there's a deal. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, this is where I'm going to grind with this awful contraption on the back here. What? I'll tell you what, you could use it as a dozer. 
blade, I think. What? Well, this, um... This oh, Prang, look. What? With the controller. This is in the customize module. Oh, yeah. In the yeah. painting module. Yeah. But, oh, look, I can even get inside. Because now you've got the interior customizations. What can I get? I can get little things that dangle. I've got the three, three different types of card. It's not that interesting. Um, and then if I go back and down to stickers, I can get Freedom Bird, Take My Winch, <laughs> Shut Up and Take My Winch, Light My Fire, Come On Buddy, Light My Fire, uh, Holy Stepney, Your Adventure, Apologetics, Off-Road Club. <laughs> Check this one out. It's in Russian. See, it's like a deer with wheels. All right. Um, so what, no road, no problem. I park where I want. <laughs> what? Um, so what vehicle is that? This is the Khan. Oh, okay. But it's in all um, non-modded trucks. Yeah. And maybe even the modded trucks too now. Oh, okay. But yeah, I, 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 I had no idea that with the controller I can actually move around my truck while I'm... Um, I don't know if it's while I'm looking at... Yeah, while I'm looking at anything. I can just move around the truck. That's cool. I, I wonder if it's while I'm in... So have you opened all your trailers that were in the garage? Uh, all my trailers that were Yeah, in the you garage. know the, the trailers that you unlocked when you first come out the garage? Yeah, the ones just next to me. Um, yeah. Yeah? You mean I've just driven past them? Yeah. Yeah. Have you unlocked all those and sold them? No. Oh, okay. Well, when you say unlocked... Well, you drive by them and they unlock and yeah, they become I've done that. usable. Well, you sold them to get no, more money. I don't need more money at the moment. Oh, okay. So how much you got at the moment? Oh, I've not. I've probably got like 10 grand at the moment or something. Like, not much, yeah. but I, I don't... I haven't got anything that I'm saving up for. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Customise. Let's... Uh, frame add-ons. Flatbed. Bang. Maintenance frame. Let's uh, uninstall it. I've put the autonomous crane on my uh, sell it. car now. Sell. Nope. So can you do interior mods? Um, Whoops. No, not with some of them, no. Well, that one's got the the thing for it. Hang on, sorry. I'm looking at Prang's thing and ramming into... The thing. Yeah, the, the little dice. Yeah. Up the top. Click on that. Yeah, no, but I mean, if I click on that, there's nothing there. Oh, okay. okay. That's what I'm saying. I've got anything, but do we want. Do we want uh, that? I mean, in fairness, I didn't put any on, even though they the were dirt cheap. It does seem a wheel. bit expensive to pay 600 spare bucks wheel. just for a, like a little playing card dangly thing. How much? 600, I think they were. Yeah, just a bit. Exorbitant. Okay. I mean, like, it's it's. At the same time, it's also so little that you're like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. But it's just, realistically speaking. Fuel tank. Oh, my God. Flatbed. Okay, do we have crane? Loading crane. Yeah, we'll have one of those. Rope chase. Oh, crap. Flatbed. Jeez. I've smashed this Khan's engine over half just getting it from the um, garage oh. to the fuel station so I have to go back to the garage and repair it. Mike. <laughs> Let's leave the garage. Mike okay. Rain. Okay. Here I am. I have a Ural. Whoops. I go backwards. Is it Ural or Myral? It's a viral Ural. The viral Ural in... So look, look at my um, trailer park. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> I'll go to the map and I shall go to select Husky forwarding. Oh, got a lot of stuff. Farm tools. Local farm by the name of Matthew and Sons contracted us to see if we can get them to help out the shipment of tools. Delivered to the farm. Curtain side trailer. Yeah, that's the one that's literally in the garage. Oh, is it? Yeah, because okay. you need to drag that from the Great. garage to the farm. Dead simple. Um, so, 
That's it, isn't it? So, map. Oh, there it is. I'm right there, aren't I? Yep. Does anything else have to go to the farm that you know of? No, not that I can. I mean, there's a bunch of different missions, but they are all from different places and that kind of thing. Oh, okay. Because I've got a. I've just got. Oh, the there's a really squealy sound of me breaking this ca with this car. Okay. Quite interesting. Because I've got some. Yeah, I don't think there's. A, a, I don't know. There's like okay. there's lots of things that you take to the farm, and, but yeah, they're all from different places, right. and some of them are from the factory. I, I just wouldn't worry that much. If you happen to notice that there's multiple things, great. But well, it's just that I've got. Um, I've got. Have you still got your Khan? No. Oh. Because that could be another good option for the hill climb. Oh no, I've got the. I don't like the Khan. It's, it's, the wheels are too big. You can get smaller wheels. Uh, can it? Can I? Yeah. Cargo from Pretty ship. Sure. Power lines. Number one. Fuel order. Winter. Wet harvest. That sounds like it could be good. Ooh. Complete farming tools. That one's locked. So that's yeah. So the thing with the. Um, uh, with the tasks, you just pick up one and do it. Whereas with the um, contracts, you, the, you get a couple that you can do, but then you have to start actually doing them before you can go up. Just, just pick whatever one's first and do that. Don't yeah, I know, but I, I'm, I'm at the garage and I can load in, a, I can load two more sections on the, on the truck, A, to give it ballast, and B, because I'm going that way. It's all right, it doesn't matter. It was just if I could have... I just think, yeah, personally, I just think you'd, like, maybe you'd shave off, you know, 15 minutes from the completion of the overall map, but I think you'd just enjoy driving those extra 15 minutes rather than researching, searching through the Yeah, I see, what, I see what you mean, but there again, I wouldn't mind some ballast on the truck, you know. Sure. I mean, you're only going to the farm. So you get to keep the truck, the trailer, or does it disappear? Um, not sure. Okay. I think you keep it, but I could be. No, maybe you don't. I don't know. I do it. Do. Blimey. What? Well, I'm just going charging through everything in this one. And what are you in? The Ural. Oh, yeah. Way. I probably won't keep this one, but I want it for the, um, uh, you know, the, um, the boys of hit town. Yeah. You know, I'll stick the, uh, command, the, what, utility back on. Mm-hmm. To make them look like you know it's the the armies here. <laughs> oh. Michigansky. I'll tell you what, this car just blasts through once you start getting a few upgrades on it. Contract completed. Yeah, the. What did they tell you? Well, no, I've got, the, I've got the contract. Yeah, but what did they say? Well done. Um, well, they took the... I know, but the little message where oh, they say, like, hey, thanks for that. I like reading them. It's funny. I don't uh, bother with that. I mean, I could probably... I'll let you know the next time. Yeah. I just enjoy them, that's all. <laughs> I also enjoy reading them in a funny accent. All right, let's see if this truck can get me out of the pickle. Let's get this one out of the way. What we got ourselves here, boy? What do you mean? Nothing. Just um, 
show task. Hit it. There's a place in the mountains not far away that has the most stunning views. I like to relax up there from time to time. Oh, pastry on the spruces. Do you you um, pick up that one and then go off and do the... Um, Why uh, don't you take a look? Just yeah, try you, not to destroy everything getting up there, boy. Yeah, you take that one and then um, do the um, watchtower while you do it. Because it's up at the same place. Yeah. Start tracking. Yeah. So, hang on. What have I got to do? You got to go down to just past the uh, farm. Oh come on! New trailer discovered. You got a new trailer? Fuel trailer. Oh, does it keep on giving you new trailers? No, I just discover one in this place here. This one hidden in there. Oh, I see. Sorry, I thought you were back at the garage. Um, no. Hang on. Uh, in that case, double check. Oh, so you go back onto the road, then you turn right, and then you turn right again. You remember it was the mission that you and I did together? Yep. So you just need to go and, and there's do a it watch point down there. Is that the one you mean? Yeah, so you'll do the watch point at the same time. Okay. This is excruciating. Oh, screw it. I'm just going to get back in this other truck and recover it. Change truck. Paste. Uh, recover. It's just painful. Look at the metal beam skis. Uh, you've gone past the turning. Yeah, but it's telling me to go up there, look. Yeah, that's because that's where you go up, but you've gone past the turning. Go to the map. Yeah, that's the thing that confuses me. That's right. why I just... And you see there's that road immediately to your right? Yeah, up here. Yeah, it goes up there, right? You pick up that watchtower. Yeah. Right, and you keep going, and that is where... Yeah. I've got to reach. Ah, okay, I remember that. But I mean, to me, that was telling me that I've got to go up there to find it. Yeah, that's where you go. That's the, that's yeah, but the, that's telling me to go straight on. No, yeah, but... Yes, I know yeah, that. But if I said, you know, go to London, you wouldn't, you know, walk directly towards yeah. London. You'd and walk up to the airport. that's why I don't know. like... Well, don't look at it then. It's not a sat-nav saying take the next right. It's saying that is the exact whole circle bearing of the location you're trying to get to. Sure. I better give myself some fill. Oh. Ball skis. I hate this little bit of mud just outside the garage. Yeah. Well, fortunately, the trees do repopulate after you've pulled them all over. I am thankful for that. Mm. Is that a frog out this side of your window? Maybe. I don't know. I've got my ears in. Okay. Yeah, it's a frog. Let's heard it again. Nice. Sounds a bit like that. Come on. So you have to, if you had to use just one of the trucks that you've got, which would it be? What's oh, your favourite? the moment, it's got to be the Kras. Does look pretty darn good. I mean, the Kras has just done everything. Just, you know, this one's not doing too bad, but it's just something, 
it uses more fuel and it's up on 15 litres a minute now the crowds has never been yeah, up that mine's, far mine's that hungry in yeah. the water like in the mud yeah well I'm going have I gone past the uh, watch oh no the watch point's oh. just up here I'm going to go along yeah, this track yeah you can't the watch point in third yeah. I'm in fourth gear which is top yeah. gear oh you only got four gears in this one yeah and it's permanently on the whole time. <laughs> the fourth gear? No, the um, all-wheel drive. Oh, OK. It's just flying up here. Mm. But it seems to have this sort of... It seems to be weightless. I suppose that's probably quite true. It seems... The back seems to be hovering off the ground. Crap. Oops. This is so... Oh. You alright? Tiny bit of damage. You okay? Yeah. Have I gone past? Oh no, can we check it? No, you you need to take a you need to take a left and double back. Yeah. That's the bit where I thought I'd gone past and I was like, where is it? Where's this road? I'm like, oh there isn't a road going up to you, you have to go off road. No 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 not that far, you've got to go forward from there. And then turn left. Yeah, and turn left and go up the most. Oh yes, yeah, so I can see. Yeah. Super awkward. Hawkward. <laughs> That's a good one for me. Hawkward. There's something very floaty about the back of this truck. As in the um, well, it's physics just bouncing don't feel up quite and right. down. Like it doesn't have any. I can't really explain what it's sort of. Oh, yeah. I just flattened it though. Yeah, as did I when I went up there. But I had to do it in whatever rubbish truck I was using. I can't remember if it was the uh, Chevy or the... Yeah, I remember. It was. it was just awful. I know, I can remember that. Mind you, I don't know how I'm going to get back. Oh, I wonder if you can do a handbrake turn in this. Let's try that. Uh, beams. Got some beans. What else is there? So that's it, isn't it, really? Hmm? Yeah, that's it. That's the mission. Oh, Check I found, the next a, one. I found, so the next I one found a drowned got, highway truck. Yeah, so, yeah, you've got to recover that one out. Um, so the next um, thing that's come up there automatically, you see at the top it says Smithfield Down. Yeah, no, I've been ignoring it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. You know the quickest way down is? Probably Straight not. down. Like that. It's always the quickest way down, Prime. Yeah, I could try it, couldn't I? <clears throat> Something to do. You've got to go back up there again. If anything comes untoward, I'll just recover in the garage and... You could just grow up recovering the garage right now, but I, I feel that's not really in the spirit of things. I feel like you should only really recover when you're getting a bit stuck. Well, surely you should. Well, I just mean like, oh, if you go, oh, I need to be on the other side of the map now, I'll just recover there instead of bothering to drive oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no. do you know what I mean? 
like you should recover if you've fallen over or recover yeah. if you're you know desperately damaged and you're just not no, having fun I'm just fun. trying to get some oh my goodness me oh my goodness me I got some of that oh earlier oh my goodness me oh my goodness me Oh my goodness me. See, I'm not getting a lot of damage. That's the problem, just five and No, two. you flipping numpty! Come on, 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 oh. I'm really in the trees here. Come on! What are you doing? Trying to be upright. Okay. Oh, come on! No, 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 no! Oh, Flipping out! Why is it so hard? Why does this thing flip over so much? What? This no, the um, never star or it was pay star. Oh. I just took this massive tumble down the hill. It just flips over so often. This is going to be the third attempt I've made at doing this one trip. Okay, I'm stuck now. I think. What are we gonna do? Oh. Try a quick winch. <sighs> the thing is, it's not like I'm doing anything silly. I'm just going around something which I 1000% okay. know a mud runner. The physics wouldn't throw me over. Yeah, I know. Um, it's just learning all the physics of this. So. It's not that the physics are, like, not right. It's just that I'm so, so used to working around the physics of Mudrun. I know exactly yeah. how much I can go before it's going to start well, tipping. And all I'll that tell kind of you thing. one thing. I mean, obviously, I haven't driven the Navistar. No, not, it's not the Navistar, is it? What is I'm it? using the Paystar. Paystar. But um, what I'm finding is that the... Um, the... I mean, like, take the 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 can I just think those big wheels are ridiculous oh yeah yeah absolutely yeah no the Navistar's wheels are actually if anything too small yeah um, and maybe that's your problem um, some of them are renowned for tipping over you, you yeah know. Um, even in real life yeah yeah um, but the other thing is I mean I just don't think you know, I've looked at some of these, um, you know, raising the suspension. Yeah, some of them are really useful. Some of them just makes it too tall. Yeah. And that's fine, tall, but, but there are things like in the snow where yeah. you actually do need to use that yeah. kind of thing. That's fine, but it's using it at the right time. Yeah, really. and that's the whole thing about this game is always customizing your truck to be the right truck for the time. Yeah. Second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, what mission are you going to do now? I'm right, uh, rescuing this drone truck. Oh, I can see him. Have you gone and picked up the mission? You actually need to pick it up before you can rescue it. Where is it? I think it's in the, one of the um, little trailer parks just nearby, just near the road. I think. If you go to the map, I think it shows you. Or maybe you drive up to that one and you pick no, it up at the spot. I think you can drive up to it because oh, it okay. only shows it on the map, but it doesn't okay, show yeah. anything else. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wasn't entirely sure. That was the first thing that I did with my pay start, and I was like, oh my goodness, this is so easy. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't that easy, but, yeah. you know, relatively speaking, so it was tough. like... Um, hey, Trouble at Farm, we've got trucks wedged in the Trouble at Farm? Trouble at Farm, yep. Trouble at Farm. We've got trucks wedged deep in sludge, and we could use a strong arm to haul them out. We need a serious engine for this one. Of course we have a serious engine. We have Euro. We're not here to take Pisky. Okay. Can I show you something for a second, Brian? 
Yep. When you're ready, just hit the escape menu. Pardon? When you're ready, just hit the escape menu. Escape menu? Yep. Um... Escape menu. You'll need to hit it again. The first time you hit it, came you out of advanced menu. Then go settings. And then go HUD. And then set the second one to off or on. Whatever it's not on. Yeah. Set that to on. Yep. And then come back out of that by hitting escape or back a bunch of times. And you got no HUD. So that's really good for taking screenshots. Oh, okay. Because you haven't got all the crap around the screen. Yeah. Right. And then you can go turn it back on. I feel like there should be a hotkey that you can assign to it. Don't you? Yeah. Because you'd like, like you'd, every single time you have to turn it on and off, you've got to go in via that. Every time. So, like, why couldn't you just set it to, like, be, you know, F10 or something that turns the HUD off? So that you could do it quickly and then bring it back. Because the moment, you don't know if you're about to run out of fuel or what. Oh, I'll leave it for a while. Oh, do whatever you want, but I'm just saying in general. We're hearing all my um, metal beams clank around on the back of my truck. It's quite cute. So is there another way that I can take this? Because I'm getting yes, sick of taking it through there. Yeah, I can take it up around there. I'll do that. It's also weird that it's hide HUD turn on. Should, wouldn't you just have HUD on and off? Yeah. Because that because you've got a double negative the way they've done it. When hide HUD is off, then the HUD is on. <laughs> well, I don't want crane. You just got a bit of a. Uh, we can't hear you, by the way. Well, no, I don't. You had to deal with your crane. Um, a slightly embarrassing crane situation. Okay, come on. I like how trees, when you've like pulled them almost over and then you let go of the winch, they very slowly rise back up into the air. Whereas you know that in real life, they leap up quite quickly. Yeah. I suspect probably the, the reason they've done that is that if they leapt up quickly and for some reason you were like half on the tree, it could fling you really far across probably, the map. Yeah. yeah, and there could be an uh, issue there. So they thought, well... We could spend hours fixing the trees and making them not do that and have just the right amount of spring, or we could just make it go slowly, which isn't obscenely unrealistic. It'd be good if, I mean, I fancy stealing this truck to get more money, you see. Um, that one's not a drivable truck. I know, obviously I can't. But there's, other, there's a lot of other trucks. But like, wouldn't it be great if real life had things where you couldn't <laughs> steal If you went to steer, steal it, the engine wouldn't start. Or yeah. You know. So well, that's called a key. No, I'm talking about um, <laughs> um, sort of like em emotional control, emotional intelligence. Well, I think that's morals, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You wouldn't just get in someone else's car and start it, you know. Yeah, under a you know normal circumstance. I mean, if you know you're absolutely desperate, I can see situations yeah. where that would be a reasonable course of action. But um, actually, many many years ago, oops, were you a car thief? Uh, no, I didn't steal a car. No, but you wouldn't steal a car. Do you know that you wouldn't I, steal a car? I, thing that pi piracy ad at the beginning of movies they used to have yeah apparently the music for that was used without license <laughs> <laughs> beautiful sorry many years ago yeah many years ago about three or four of us went for a walk and um i suppose you know that and they took one of our friend's cars 
and me and one guy got back to the uh, the car um, before the owner of the car you see mm -hmm. and at that time you didn't get you know the way a fuel uh, uh, fuel caps would just screw on screw off you know and anyone could come along and nick your fuel oh yeah siphoning it out in the so. old days so um they, they used to buy in um you could buy in petrol stations petrol stations you could uh lock up with petrol caps or you know car accessory shops yeah and uh i just the key looked very much like the key to this car it was a ford um Anyway, when we got back to it, I just tried my lockable petrol cap key and it opened the car. It wouldn't start the engine. <laughs> so that when, when the friend whose car it was got back to the car, me and the other guy is sitting in the seat. <laughs> going, hey, how'd you do that? <laughs> He's pro you probably did a horrible thing there because probably for the rest of the time you're in that car, he was really paranoid about it getting stolen. Yeah, exactly. I mean, because it was just a sort of, I don't know, like say an $8 lockable petrol cap. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's crazy. Okay. Would have been good if it did start the engine. You could have driven it and moved it to a different spot and really confused him and then gone and stood outside, wait. Did, did I park there? Yeah. <laughs> I've got a different um, uh, way of moving the cameras. Yeah? I just crash into the wall. <laughs> 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 because you're going to get restored. Yeah, fair enough. But I, I would worry that by crashing into the wall, you glitch into the wall slightly and you're not close enough to actually get in the garage and then oh, you screw. Right. I mean, you could recover, but still. Yeah. But I, I find it fun waiting into the very last moment before hitting X or whatever it is on your yeah, I'll controller. Try that. Yeah. It changes. It depends what I've been using, the wheel or the keyboard. Yeah. Oh, well, which it doesn't matter, like, if you press the right one, like, it'll... Yeah, no, fine. but if you do, but, like, if it says C to enter the garage or X, yeah. it depends on what you've got. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I keep on referring to, like, buttons on the Xbox controller, and Prang will go and press that button on the keyboard. I'm like, no, no, I didn't, I didn't mean the Y button on the keyboard, I meant the Y button on the controller. But I'm glad that I got the controller, I don't know about you. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's great it. for the crane on this now. I'm getting yeah. used to it, you know. Um, let's see. Dash and diesel. Like you would really do pipe dream. Oh. That one. I'm doing pipe dream. Are you? Yep. Yeah, well, that means I've got to go to thingy, haven't I? To what? It's not in the Smithfield Dam, if that's what you mean. It says delivered to the... Co oh. For old sweat. Yeah, you haven't started tracking um, Pipe Dream. Okay. Uh, pipe Dream. Local oil equipment factory got hammered by the flu. Oh, sorry, flood. The curse was in the way. <laughs> that place is vital, drilling operations in the area, so we need to get it back up and running ASA pay. Pay? Pay. Start by getting them some fuel and construction materials. Oh, I've got all that. Deliver to the factory. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Well, in fairness for me, um, I, I got all of it in the, in the warehouse, which is halfway between here and the factory, so my journey was actually shorter than yours. Although oh. you can go a slightly smoother route, I will admit. Yep. Okay. What does access to location mean? Oh, I see. You get access to... Yeah, I get it. The rewards. That's the rewards. Metal beam, two lots of bricks, and I will... Yes. Okay. Do that. Um, yes, you might as well do that one. Um, yeah, it's a good one. I'm enjoying it. And then you've got to move that heavy fuel tanker from the fuel station. Yeah. Which is nice. So I can change my skin, I think. You're going to become a chameleon. Kimmy, 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 kimmy. Do, 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 do. Can you um, keep the viewer entertained for five? Uh, yeah, possibly. Cool. Because my, my screen's still, so you've got to keep them really entertained. Yeah. Oh, 
guess what's happening on my screen? Oh, you ought to see what's happening on my screen. Oh, if you only saw what was happening on my screen, you'd think, oh, dear. Oh, dear, this is amazing. Look at the size of those wheels. Oh, my goodness me. Frame add-ons. We don't want that. We want a high saddle purchase. We got ourselves a high saddle. What else do we need? Do we need some... I'm going to make it a pretty color. I'm going to make it a pretty color. Let's see. Um, red. No? Blue? No? No, 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 no. Uh, oh, no, I have to be... We have that one. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we're off, and we are out of here. And we have got to get... I'm going to go and pick up some bits and pieces now, which I've already left through, actually, if you've been listening, through uh, in my trailer park, I've got a load of stuff already. Let's just hope that I can buy a trailer, which I think is going to need four, three, oh dear, that's not good, hang on a sec, pipe dream, two lots of bricks and one lot of metal beams, that's five slots, so I want something with five slots, okay guys, um, trailer store, What's got five slots? Flatbed semi trailer. It's like the one we want. Okay. Saddle low is required, but cannot be installed. Okay, let's uh, see what else we've got. Just bear with me. Sideboard semi trailer. Saddle low is required. Ramped flatbed trailer. Oh. No nope. fuel carrier, maintenance trailer, service trailer, gooseneck semi trailer, wide. Oh, that one. Okay. Right. Blimey. I want to see the size of this one I've got. Hope I can load it. It's massive. Okay. Let's just check what I need. Where's that? Out on the map. Um, two lots of bricks and one load of metal beams. Right. Back here. There's some metal beams. I'll just go backwards a bit. Oh, there's the bricks. There's probably... Everyone else just goes and loads them up, but not, not me. I've got to do it manually now, because I thought, oh, this is going to be good. It's going to save me having to go up that way. Bugger you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave them here. Oh, I'm going. Here we go. Oh, lights on. Oops. Here we go. Okay, we're leaving the garage and we're turning right. We are in auto and just rear wheel drive at the moment. We're hitting the mud. And now we're... Uh... <laughs> Have you been going all this time? Yeah, yeah. Well done. We I like that. Back. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. I appreciate that. Oh, it's been some good music. You haven't been able to hear it, but the viewer has. <laughs> Okay, where were we? Clearly it was crushing off the side. Oh, I've got some good music now. Yeah, I've got... So I remember that we apparently had... Um, uh, I remember a big thing in the you know developer notes as they were slowly releasing bits and bit bobs about the game was that there was region-specific music 
Okay. Now, I've not played really, I mean, other than the two seconds that you were with me for in Alaska or anywhere else, or Canada or anywhere, but I think that means that there's different playlists in each region, and I don't know if that means it's basically the same music, but it's just a bit different, or whether it's like full-on Russian music in Russia. And yeah, that'd be good. I, you know, I don't know what you'd have in Alaska. Do they have, like... I'm trying to think. No, nothing specific. No. I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of, you know... Um, yeah. Uh, like, indigenous cultures who have got oh, music sure. there, but I'm just not familiar with them. Um, but, like, if, if someone said Russian music, you know, I could roughly yeah, tell you all. Yeah, like, like a, or Yeah, what I mean. But music, if someone said you know. uh, Alaskan music, I'd... Yeah. No. I suppose it's pr- there's probably a pretty small population, given how cold it is. Um, so it's not big enough to have quite made that much of a footprint in you know that that has reached me on the other side of the world we'll have to ask Emmett yeah what's what's you know typical um or you know hang on this isn't right um yeah yo Emmett I could have taken my Sapasta after all, because in the end I decided that it's going to be too hard to load up for all the wonderful stuff. I might as well go up to the warehouse and pick it up en route. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's three items to pick up. But one of them takes up two spaces, so you need right. your... I need a five... Um... <gasps> Prang! I've got another floating stick. See it? Hang on. Yeah, I had a floating stick up by the factory. Here it is. Yeah, mine was a bit different to that, but it was up by the factory. I had one yeah. in the f- in uh, quite early on in maybe I don't know whether so it was. How did solo. you take all your stuff up? I just did it in two trips on the back of this. Oh, okay. So how are you going to get? Are you going to go back to Oops, the sorry, bang my garage? And yeah, I'm going to flip over and get a um. And get yourself a. Yeah, do you know whether it'll be a high saddle or a low saddle? Um, I don't, but I read that it doesn't matter because it, it, it. Stops it automatically. In the garage shop, yeah. and sorry, in the trailer shop, I believe it does. I, but this is yeah. a. Actually, I think it was a tall saddle because you remember I went with a saddle. Okay, thanks. And I'm pretty sure it's a tall saddle, but. Um, it's fine. It's not that far if it's not. Oh no! You always know that I'm stressed if my horn honks because I'm pressing down on the change, you know, steer button really hard. Oh, I've got a problem. Oh no, it's all good. I had a um, a uh, um, signpost that got stuck in my wheel. I was glitching around. Yeah, I don't know why well, they stick signposts up. They only get in the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, they stick it there for us to knock down, Frank. Yeah. So I'll fuel up, go and change over my back. I've, I've just about mastered the art of um, refueling without stopping, which is a cool thing, I'll admit. Because it's the three buttons that are right next to each other for me. Yeah. So I go X, A, 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 B. Yeah, it is on the wheel as well. Okay, cool. So I'm, I'm getting the hang of doing that very quickly. And I had to slow down after doing it there because I had to make a turn. Yeah. But basically, if I didn't have to make a sharp turn, and probably if I, when I get a bit better, I'll be able to start making that turn earlier. But I can fuel without coming to a stop. And I will admit that that is a slightly nicer thing than in Mudrunner, where you had to always come to a stop to fuel it. if I can upgrade these wheels. I wonder if I've unlocked enough to be able to do that. There we go. 
Also, can I diff lock? I can't. I, no, a diff lock's only available in low gear. Is diff lock only available in low gear for all trucks, or is it just some trucks? Um, oh, well, all the trucks I've come across, okay, yeah. Cool. I mean, I've got, I've got diff lock on always in the Euro. Cool. But not Customize. on the... Uh, frame add-ons. Purchase spades. This is all... No, I don't want to purchase that. I'm not anywhere near that. Um, metal detector module. Oh, that's right. That This was um, in the latest update. I've got a metal, dete metal detector module. It's two little plates that fold out to the left and right and detect metal. I don't know. It's going to be for a specific oh. thing. Um, subtle high. So, so you reckon subtle high? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oops. Um, can I take off the crane? Whoops. That one, if I, so if I uninstall that, that should do the trick. Yeah, you can see, you can see when I put the crane on, you can see the truck lean forward with the weight. Yes. Yeah, I've noticed really that. Really cool. And certainly with the, uh, the big, um, The big um trailer that I've got on the back. Oh, okay. That's nice color. Every time I go in the garage, I like changing the color of my truck. Yeah. I sort of, I'm not all that settled on like a particular color. I just like going in and going. Oh, I yeah, fancy a new sometimes color. Sometimes you think you get out and you think, oh, I wish I'd got this color. Uh, I don't think I ever wish that. Well, you wait until you do the bright pink one. <laughs> Have you? Yeah, I oh. did it once. I did. Uh, I used the bright. No, I think I'd be cool with the bright pink one. I think the bright pink Hummer would look cool. Well, no, this was a sort of a deep ready pink, you know, like a magenta. Sounds nice. No, it wasn't. Okay. I've got a particular aversion to that colour. Okay. It's nice having like a bare back, if you know what I mean. Like not a um, like not something covering the back. I can actually see the, you know, yeah. things spinning and all that kind of thing. Far out, a bit stuck here. There we go. I didn't check the wheels. Oh well, I'll live. Probably haven't unlocked them anyway. Okay. You really start, once you start getting into this game, you really start realizing the scale of this game. Because I've played, I don't know, up to 50 hours, probably maybe even more than that. Yeah. And I'm still in the first bloody one and a half maps. Yep. I, mean, I think it'll speed up a bit as you start to get in the swing of things. But And there is, a, there is quite a zen to it that isn't with, say, Mudrunner. In you know, just go in, clean up the map, just chill out, clean up the map. So it's not an adventure like Mud Runner is, and how we make it. Here go the signs. What? Thank goodness, no wrong going now, because uh, I just wiped out two of the road signs. Oh, okay. To the garage and the. All right, let's back back. Do you know why they put cones in front of this? Um, fuel thing like I'm going to have to drive over in any case yeah, the thing is every time you go back someone stood the cones up again yeah <laughs> who is this man who it's pro do you know what it is I know exactly who it is do you know who it is no I don't tell me it's not Harry Koenig Jr what Harry Koenig Jr uh, no, I wasn't going to say. Well, that. he's like another Michael Bublé. Yeah, I know, I know who he is. Yeah, and I got the pun. Okay. But no, I was going to say it's the um, it's the the poltergeist who's out of a job opening up watch points block posts, who's now got a new job, returning poles and signs and things. Yeah, he goes around. These bloody truck drivers move blocking cones out to here. Attached trailer. Yep, high, high, um, 
High Saddle Works, Good. for your knowledge, when you need to do it. Oh, this is this is the biggest trailer I've ever had in this game. Nothing, lad. Nothing. Yeah, no, you've gone up and go. Oh, crap. You gotta see the width of this thing I've got. Oh, I, I have. But but the fact that you could just drive through there like that is obscene. I went in like two meters and got totally bogged and tried to come out like it's just obscene. He's going through the marsh. Well, I'll probably, when I get to a place I like, I'll probably set up some proper challenges, you know. Mm -hmm. Because you can just buy a, a little rubbishy truck, just some, something to do, you know. He's playing the Mitch Eatgen. <laughs> yeah, Mitch Eatgen. <laughs> yeah. Cheatka and Mitch Eatgen. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty, pretty... Um... No, I know, you're, I'm not, you're, you're not totally, like, you just got it a little bit easier than me. Yeah. And like for me, I like mean, it was exciting going around discovering all the upgrades I, and going, is this going to be something for my truck that'll make me a bit better? And, yeah. Which is something that is taken away from you by not using yeah. the default trucks. Yeah, I mean, I had originally intended to do all this in a zil, but I end up, ended up getting the Kras first. Because I thought so the So is the zil the B66? Oh, no, it's the B131. Oh yeah, that's right. Which... Um, is obviously in the old mud runner. It, it was in the B um, category. Category, which means it just wasn't quite the same uh, power as the. This is really fun tra taking this trailer up. I've oh, not, well, I've not actually done an artic. I don't. Oh, maybe I have done an articulated I've got trailer. The problem. What? We can't get around this corner with the trees in the way. <laughs> Oh, so you went through the swamp. That's yeah. a weird way to go. There's actually just a sealed road that you can go up. A sealed road? Yeah. Well, no, this is the, this is the best, uh, this is the quickest road, isn't it? Sure. Well, no, because a sealed road you can travel a lot faster on. Oh, yeah, but you've got it's to the get shortest to it route. from the... I'm, talk, I'm talking about from the... Um, you know, I, I went and picked up... Don't forget, I went and picked up all this stuff from the... Um, the warehouse. Yeah, so did I. Yeah. But and then I drove back out to where the um, uh, the fuel station is, and then drove up the uh, road up there. Really? Oh, that you haven't unlocked that, of course. Yeah, I have. Oh, you've cleared that those stones now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't realize that. I thought you'd only done the one. I thought you'd only cleared one set of stones. It's very rainy here in Michigan to die. Sorry, I just need to sit back for there. That's why I was drifting off the side of the road. This is the way to do it. He says, having not moved an inch yeah, yeah. <laughs> since two minutes ago. Quite significant. Not as much as the um, I feel like Optimus Prime with this oh, red. Yeah. What? Just like that tree out completely. Huh. Optimus Prime, what about it? Well, I've got a big red truck with this trailer now, so I feel a bit like Optimus Prime. Oh, that's not good, is it? I hope someone makes an Optimus Prime mod. I'm kind of surprised that no one hasn't already. Probably do. I, I, I don't need it to transform or anything. No. But just that it looks like Optimus right. Prime. Probably that you could do a just a paint job on the Navistar, really, and you get most of the way there. I don't think I've had that. Look at this. <laughs> Is it actually twisting the the back trailer? Is it actually yeah. tw got torsion on it? Yeah. There's look. Look at the twist on the on, on yeah. the load. Yeah. There you go. That's something we've learnt. I mean, it makes sense that it would twist. You know, in real life, you assume that it wouldn't, but. It, you know, it's like when you watch um, you watch things in slow motion, like a, a you know a, a ball, uh, like a, a, a water balloon or something in slow yeah, motion, and you're amazed at how much it stretches when it hits something, kind of thing. Whoa. Come on, 
Come on, ski. You can do it. Ski? No, there's not, so not any... Things like that. Not really talking into the mic there. Might want to move it a bit. Oh, there's another floating stick. I've never seen so many floating sticks. Oh, and there's another one. Yeah, you get a lot of them up that way, that neck yeah. of the woods. I kind of like it. I mean, I'd be a bit, you know, I'd feel a bit shortchanged if I don't have for floating something. Usually when you're delivering a trailer to a place, it seems to just disappear as soon as you drive into the thing. Yeah. Which is kind of nice, but also at the same time, I feel like I'd like to be able to press a button that unloads it, because I'm so used to that with, like, the logs in Mudrunner. I think it's going to do that here, is it? Oh, shivers! Oh. <laughs> I was going straight for a wall, right? I delivered it, and suddenly I, I had this boost of energy because I suddenly had a lot less oh, weight yeah. on me. Oh. Okay, so the next task. That's the Smithfield Dam. I don't want to do that. So Husky Fording. That's the Smithfield Dam. That's the Smithfield Dam. Okay, so I established all of those with the Smithfield Dam. Uh, Dyson Diesel. Not a drill. Deliver to the drilling site. Metal beams. Okay. Um, probably the easiest way to do that is down through here. So I'll go, I think I'll go back up to the um, warehouse to get the metal beams, even though I could get them over at the, uh, in the township. Although, what I wonder where I've meant to deliver this big, massive load, because I'm literally rigged up to be able to do it. I wonder if this is the mission here. Show task. The workers nearby have a little game. There are multiple barrels here. Oh, it's okay. Oh, you've got that, that barrels thing. I've yeah. accept that now. Local entertainment. I wonder what this big trailer here. It's not really even marked officially on the map. Have you been to the meteorology site? I've been past it. I'm up there at the moment, but I haven't mm. actually driven in. Looks interesting on the map. Yeah. I don't think I've got the vehicle to drive in there at the moment unless I detach the thing for a minute and go in. Oh, I wouldn't stress. Oh, dear. What? Oh, half of it's gone over the armco. No. Oh. I didn't have that problem. It's quite weird. I'm expecting to bump into you in a second. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no one there. Oh. You know, it, I'd be perfectly, in a, in a way, I'd be perfectly happy to play our own games, but just drive past each other every now and again and help each other out, even if we had to complete all, all the same missions um, as each other, like, twice in the one map. Yeah, look at this look. Oh, uh, yeah, his wheels. He is at this exact bit of arm cove that I'm up to here, uh, but he, two of his wheels are over the far side. He's travelling in the opposite direction trying to come around that corner. And two of his wheels on his trailer over the far side. Big trailer, too. Stuck ski bill. Ah, oh, screw it. I'm just going to recover to the garage. I, I just, I don't know. I, I know that I'm not actually in a bad position, but just... Because you have to keep on going back to different places to pick up tasks, I feel like... I know that I said before, oh, you shouldn't really travel if you're not damaged, but... I don't know. With this game, like with Mudrunner, we play it legit. We do the full thing. We do it proper. But with this, I'm just like, I'm here to have fun. I just want to do tasks, deliver stuff, whatnot. Um, I'm going to go back in the garage. Oh, I didn't mean to store it. Uh, deploy back customize oh I stored it again uh, 
Um, let's just check out the tires. Yeah, I need to get to rank 9. And I think I'm almost there. I think I'm rank 8. And then I'll be able to unlock some much bigger tires. Actually, they're not that much bigger. Are they? Hang on. Oh, yeah, they are a fair bit bigger. This is... Uh it's quite a stuckness I've got. Quite a stuckness. <laughs> quite a stuckness. <laughs> Have you tried winching? Oh, yeah, you are winching. Yeah, I am. Have you tried reversing? Um, no, I don't know. Have Maybe you tried not being terrible at the game? Reversing <laughs> and winching. Frame add-ons. We want a... This is a, sideboard. This is a right interesting little... Uh, and a crane ski. Oh, I've stored it again! I don't know why, it's just my default button to press. What was that? <laughs> that was mum dropping something. Okay. I think it was a hairbrush. So do I care. Okay. Something. What more than a hairbrush? It was in the bathtub, so it was rolling back and forth. Oh, okay. Just demolishing trees here. Demolishing trees here, are you, Prang? You naughty boy. It's nice to have you here to chat to, even if we're not here to sort of help each other out and yeah. play on the same map together. Uh, now that I'm sort of getting over the fact that this really is a totally different game, and it's not a, a game that we can multiplayer together, I am quite enjoying it. Yeah, okay. And I'm, I'm quite happy to play this with the controller, because it means that I'm not getting confused about okay. buttons. Because I'll just use the wheel for Mudrunner and this for SnowRunner. Because there was a while back there where I was going, oh, in Mudrunner, I was going, oh, I'll do this, oh. That's the button in SnowRunner. Oh, that's something you do in SnowRunner. And now that's going to be you. I do like red on this one. I can't remember what... I think I had blue before, but this red really is suiting it. It's a dark cherry red. Like a crimson. What was the story about you ordering the King Crimson CD? Oh... Yeah, in the court of the Crimson King, the C... the, the, the album cover is this sort of a pink and dark blue or purple uh, cartoon of somebody screaming. Actually, it's a 21st century schizoid man, you see. Yeah. And um, um, I ordered it on the, online on the computer um, to... <laughs> you sound I so modern. <laughs> no, 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 no. I couldn't buy it I couldn't buy it in Australia mm -hmm. for under a certain ludicrous price, you see, at the time, Yeah. Uh, the CD. So I ordered it and got my mother, I sent it to my mother, which you could, you could buy Gra it. Granny it Prankster. From, from the UK. Um, this is Granny Prankster. This is Granny Prankster. And, um, of course, I ordered it at sort of last thing at night in Australia but of course it was first thing in the morning over there so they were very prompt and got it mailed out and I thought well I'll speak to my um, mother my mother um, in, a, in, a, in a few days mm -hmm. and uh, of course uh, what happened was it arrived <laughs> before I'd spoken to her. Of course, she'd opened it and, and thought, what on earth is this? It's terrible. It's a horrible face. 
<laughs> she, so she sent it back. She thought it was a joke or something, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, I thought prank. it was a joke or a prank or something. And she <laughs> sent it back. So then I had to send an email back to the firm and say, I'm awfully sorry, but this, this is what happened. And uh, could you pr- please resend it again? <laughs> Do they charge oh, no! you for... What? What? Oh, I forget now. While I was looking at trying to trying to turn the corner and ends up driving off the road oh okay I was watching the trailer but oh guess not. where I am I'm Coming at Uncle Androids what I'm at Uncle Androids are you wow <laughs> Uncle Androids so where, where are you going with that trailer what trailer oh you take that up to the factory oh you've done that and yeah. you've gone and now and you're now at I'm Uncle back Androids in town. wow that's pretty quick well I I, I did um, teleport from halfway but, uh, I did teleport from uh, al- almost okay. the um, half the distance between the factory and the garage. I teleported. Okay, all right. Because of course you did. But still, I, you know, wouldn't far off. You didn't have like that. I said, I have travelled quite fast. And yeah, yeah. Um. I, yeah, I just decided like I'm not enjoying constantly driving back when I need. Like the only reason I'm going back that way is to change over. You know. As I said, I've just decided SnowRunner is just about, you know, messing around, having a good time. I don't want to cheat in money and that kind of thing, but I'm happy to use the mm. abilities that the developers have given me. Um, so if I can't, I can either go that way or that way. I think I'll go this way. Mm. You right? Mm, no, not really. Oh, what's up? Um, well, I don't know. Let's see, I've got my... Where do you have to drop it in the in the factory? Um, move your camera to the left. Yeah, there. Yeah, it no, wasn't, not there. Not it there. wasn't opening up for me, so I not think there. what I've got to do... This isn't the um, driving up the... Um... No, it's not there, Frank. That's yes, a task know, that you pick up. But, I mean, it's, you don't understand what's happening. Okay, that's the barrels. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, move your camera to the left. Yeah, I know. Over there. Yeah. But you need to be tracking it. Tracking it? Yeah. It's a pipe dream. You need to go into the um, map and start tracking it so that it gives you the place to drop it. Accept. Yeah, and then you can exit the map. Yeah, and then just drive over. Yeah, that was the problem, you see. See, it's got a little down arrow just there. Yeah. That's where you deliver it. Okay. Oh, bunny hopping here. <laughs> boing, a boing, a boing, a boing. I'm glad we've cleared that up. Well, no, I'm trying to get this off, but I can't get it off. Are you sure it's the right item? Yeah. It says that you need to deliver one more thing of bricks. See over on the right, it says deliver to factory bricks one out of two. Oh, and you've got no. a thing of... Um, yeah, uh, still, uh, still. I, I thought it was two steel and one bricks. No. Wow. So no, it's it's not the way the thing's been configured. It's the way your brain's been configured. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's Let's get some right. four-wheel drive up in here. Get this show on the road. When they say get this show on the road, is that referring to like a circus? How they I would like so. yeah. pack everything up and get going? Yeah, I think so. And you never answered me in our Mud Runner series whether um, well, mounting an expedition was to do with horses. Probably. Like if it came I, from I when said you I used thought to do it. probably, but oh, okay. half the time I'm interrupted and there's about 
I think there's probably about eight or nine different stories that I've started and you <laughs> haven't allowed me to finish. Well, you can always just butt in and finish your story. I'm sorry that well, yeah, that's but, the case. You know, I'm halfway through and you're going... <laughs> <laughs> well, in fairness, exactly the same thing happens for me. Like, Yes, but I tell exciting stories. Oh, is that why I fall asleep in the middle of them? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this is quite a good experience of driving something really large. Mm-hmm. So I've learned a couple of things tonight. Yeah? What's that? Launch. Detach trailer. Come on, man. Detach trailer. Go and have a look at the, um... Yeah? Meteorological place or something. Yeah, it, it looks interesting on the map. No, I mean, that just taking that bend, and of course, I got stuck on the... I got stuck on the, um... The Onco. Well, I mean, even back in Mudrunner, getting stuck on the Onco is pretty Death nasty. Sentence. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice bit. Oh, it's pretty up here. Yeah? Yeah. I look forward to investigating it myself. You probably need high, highest ground clearance. Yeah. And we've got I've ourselves... I've probably got about the ground clearance of a Kras in there's this. There's a competition up here. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, it's called Meteorological Data. Keeping up with this Don River is driving us crazy. We need advance warning so we can be ready for a spill. There's a couple of meteorological sensors nearby, real tough to reach. You think you can make it? Yeah, of course I can. So it's the same thing. It's um, yeah, it's just going to check some things out. No, I'm not going to do it now because it's uh, it's got a uh, what's it cockpit view required. Oh, I think that means if you do it all in cockpit view, you get extra points. I think. What well, just is cockpit view required? No, it might well, force you into the cockpit yeah, view. Um, That's kind of cool. Yeah, I might. Um, you can give it a go, because the thing about the yeah, contest is you can do it over again and again and again. Mm. But you don't waste it. I yeah, know. I just... Um, the thing is, is that the, the problem yeah. is, if I... I've got a trailer to get back, oh, it's yeah, going to be... Um, it's going to be left up here. If Fair I, enough. Um, What a numpty taking the wrong, wrong stuff. <laughs> I could have used a different... The thing was, it sort of... Yeah? It, nothing, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> the thing was, it's sort of nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Well, no, it was so, telling me something about using a, a big... Um, trailer you know the five um yeah because I, I said so you'll need four places so you'll have to use one of your five thing trailers when in fact i could have done it with just a small trailer yeah you could have yeah but i thought you had one of the five thing trailers around well i bought that it was and, the trick. and sold it oh, okay I'll and re-bought it again Fair enough. Android, everybody loves Uncle Android. Do you mind? Back where? Oh, you've got to go through the swamp again. <laughs> no, I don't, yeah. Well, you don't have to. I would. I wouldn't no, if I were you. Rick's down at the 
Oh yeah, but you got bricks closer at the. Um yes, but I don't. Have okay, we'll we'll go that way. Just go go down the big main route now. Mm -hmm. I wonder if do we need uh, metal pipes or what are they? Oh, you need it for quite a few things. Up, up I mean, here, up, at all. Quite possibly. You could just dump them off everywhere. These roads are rubbish, aren't they, really? Even the tarmac ones. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it was nice in Mount Logmore to really be able to travel a bit. Yeah. There's some great races on Mount Logmore, didn't there? Yeah, I think the thing is, just having a few bits of sealed road everywhere just allows you to open up the throttle and not be constantly bogged down all the time, and that really makes things feel a bit better, whereas when you've got a map that's got no, um, you know, areas of road whatsoever, it just isn't as fun because you're constantly bogged down. So unless there was very good reason, if I were making a map, I definitely wouldn't not include any sealed roads. Not that I would have very many, but... Well, they're pretty nasty, really, because at speed you can really do damage, can't you? Absolutely. But that's kind of the fun, is that you've got to, you know, make a choice of how fast am I going to go, how quick do I want to get there, what am I willing to risk, you know? Androids, everybody needs good androids. All right. This is not a drill. It's the mission I'm doing at the moment, not a drill. Go to deliver stuff to the drilling site. So you're currently looking for, uh, what was it, bricks? What a numpty. What a numpty. Yeah. That's right, there was some customization thing there. Upgrade, that was the word. I do like this little gentle clanking that the, uh, the um, metal beams do on the back. Have you been able to hear that? Yeah. So I think this is a multi-part mission. Um, so I'll do this first bit and then see what I need to do next. I think it said something about like multi-map um, mission, so I might even need to take stuff to the next map over or something. Oh, I just built something. Oh, okay, now I need to dr dr deliver, deliver to the drilling site, which is this, an oil rig. Where do I have one earth? Where on earth do I get an oil rig? Oil rig, zero out of one. So let's go to the... Um, Things and go Dyson Diesel, not a drill. Oil rig. Ah, oh, it's in the Smithfield Dam. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. It's easy. Just head over to the old Smithfield Dam and get myself an oil rig. Yeehaw! What are you up to, Frank? Oh, just Where is it? Well, I did something. Could it have been? It's in Russia. Yeah. Because that's the only place I could get it. Sorry, um, I was trying to get the zeal. You probably won't, won't have got that because I was sitting yeah. the wrong side of the microphone. And um, I managed to get the gas from Russia into Michigan. So if you have you gone to the, um, the garage in Russia yep. and you've definitely put it in the 
um, like the truck storage thing. Yep. And you can see it in the truck storage thing when you're in Russia. Yep. And I actually took it outside just okay. and did about two meters and then recovered it back in the garage. Okay. And then, you, and then you've stored it again? Um, well, I did something, yeah. You might want to go back to, the, back to Russia and just double check that it got stored properly. Okay. Because oftentimes, as embarrassing as it can be, oftentimes it's the simplest answer that's the, uh, you know, simplest solution is usually the one that works, if you know what I mean. Yeah. As I'm sure you know, but, you know. So, I'm in a truck store. Um, Are you in Russia? Retain, yeah. So now go global map. I retained it, yeah, global map. And Back then into Michigan. Michigan. And open the garage. Go into the garage, then yeah, go to truck It's not storage. saying it's there. Is it possible that there are trucks that you're only allowed to use in Russia? Well, no, because I've got the. No, got, that's right, yeah. I've got, I've got a few, three or four of them out. And you. Did you say you've got the. Um, the um, yeah, I did vanilla. it with. I did it with the. No, I did it with the. Um, oh, okay. But have you got the, the vanilla scout? I did it with the modded scout. And today oh, I managed to one. get that in the Michigan map. Okay. Um, yeah, and now you go into truck storage. Truck store? Yeah. Storage, not truck store. Store is where you buy, storage is where things get yeah. stored. Truck storage. Yeah. Is it there? Zil. Yeah. Click on that. Oh, Click yeah. Deploy. They apply. Yep. Thanks. Good grief. It's a good thing he's got me here, I'll tell you that, viewer. <laughs> Customise. I don't know what to do without me. See what we can do. Pretty pretty colours, pretty in red, pretty in sort of pretty in blue. We have a sand colour bun. Let's go back to the default. There's mm, any no. We don't have furry dice in Russia. <laughs> so, can I do frame add-ons? In my country, we do not customize truck. Truck customize us. We have some crane. Uh, Purchase the crane. We have spare wheel and tank. I can't do that because we've got the crane there. Fuel tank. Oh, beautiful fuel tank. Standard Kung. What about the standard foo? A loading crane. Uh, what about a... Oh, that's interesting. Standard board. Okay. Let's buy that. He's bought himself a standard board. Well, it's just the typical back, you know. Yeah, but it's the, you know, modded one, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's a nice green. Is it, it, but is it modded or is it? could it just be the Russian back? It's the Russian the American back, back. Yeah. But is it modded or vanilla? Well, you don't know. Well, it's a modded um It's a modded truck, truck but do you know if it's a modded back? Uh, it's got to be modded because it's... Um, Was it? Did it have like underscores and a weird name, not written very nicely? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. You, you read written, it. And they're I didn't. all written nicely. No, but like some of them, like with one of your modded trucks, it had like bought underscore... Um, Yaz underscore yeah you know and it, it yeah. was really hard to work out what it meant it was the we were looking at the winches on the Kras that's what it was and the winches on the Kras went round and round round and round round and round the winches on the Kras went round and round all day long that was a nice resolution alright let's go travelling boys Charles Freehoff, a German-American blacksmith in Vitaverse, trailer back in 1914. I didn't get to read the rest of it. That's the problem with having a good computer. In those little cutscenes where they give you a fact, it was the same thing in Skyrim. It would always give you a, a little tip, but my computer was so fast that it loaded the next level oh, before. Oh, you mean the bit that says if you... If all the American trucks are put end-to-end... -end, yeah, that sort of stuff. That one, yeah. yeah. Oh, I just get enough time to read it myself. But, uh, I Probably if I wasn't reading it out loud, I could, but... I feel an obligation to my viewer <laughs> who probably isn't watching this. Um, if 
fuel that souls up. Now, where on earth do I get this oil rig? Do you have any idea where one would get an oil rig? <gasps> you get it up there! You get it up at the service hub. All right, heading up to the service hub. That's nice, because that's actually nice and easy to get to. So you're going to have to, to complete... Um, oh, no, you're not doing not a drill, are you? Sorry? You're not doing not a drill, are you? Mm, nope. So I forgot that we, we, for a while we were doing the same mission, so I just assumed that you were doing. Well, what I've done now is I've got, I've just got a bit fed up with doing that uh, job. So I, um, I've got my zeal, yeah, and I've loaded it with a, a load of one load of bricks, and I'm going to take that up and see how it drives. But that's doing the same job, though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, that got a bit confusing. Well, it seems to have uh, diff lock on all the time. That's all right. Worst things happen at sea. Yeah, but it'll probably use it. Makes it makes a lovely, lovely sound. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Meaty. Meaty. It doesn't like four wheel drive up here. Yeah, it seems that's going to be quite a nice one. Cool. Lights on. It's just such a pity we can't play together. Yeah. As I was saying, like even if we were playing our own thing, but we could just like see each other going past and you know pull the other one up, I'd be perfectly Ooh, happy to do it. That's interesting. You know, everything the same. What? It doesn't. It didn't like. <laughs> Sorry. Continue. What didn't it like? Ah, uh, just. Uh, it, uh, it got stopped in its tracks by a trunk across a tree trunk across the road. Now I'm going to carry myself an oil rig, so I'm going to first of all, I'm going to I'm going to do this one uh, manual load. Cool. Um, apparently that. Well, hmm. it's quite fast. Hmm. Apparently that, which is enormous and is making sense as to why this loading bay is so long, is a one. One what? Uh, a one p space, you know, a one square load. What is one square load? The oil rig. Oh, Drill. okay. It's big, but it's only one square. Well, it says it is, but I can't load it. Oh, hang on. That's because I'm in the wrong mode. Oh, I Not enough space. Oh, no. See, here, in, in auto loading, it says it's five, which it wasn't saying before. Five. Yeah, in in manual mode, it said it was one space, and in um, yeah, it's a f it takes up five, um, you know, s load spaces if you know what I mean. Okay. Oh, this is yours. So light. I need to go and get some load. Uh, so so you gotta go backpack. back and get a. Well, yeah, but I'm in Black River and there's a, a garage right next to me, so I'm not not, not a problem really. I just didn't realise it would be so big. Oh, this oil rig drill's quite big, it is. I'm not sure how comfortable I feel about, like, you know, they really don't seem to be caring much about the environment of this place. Like, we're just drilling it and, <laughs> you know. I mean, it's better that we do it in a video game than in real life, but... I mean, I suppose we, we do need to collect resources to be able to do things, but... So, I, I, you know, maybe they have done their due diligence. Um, I shouldn't assume. Um, customize uh, frame add-ons. We want to take off the cyborg bed and the that, and I'm going to put on a subtle high. Go back, back, and leave the garageio. Oh, there's handbrake on. Oh, here's my other uh, scout. 800 International. Well, we had the, the the scout national and then the scout intern, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, so I need something. So a flatbed semi-trailer. That carries five. What are my other options? Hmm. 
That carries four. That carries five. So I'm go I've got your wide flatbed semi-trailer. I'm going to buy and use that now. Yeah. I've got to use that to, to take this thing. This thing's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. <laughs> it's going to be huge, yeah. Oh, it's got a real throaty roar on it. It's a nice... <sighs> Like that. <laughs> a bit like that. One more I wish time. You could hear it. What was that? It was a wet slap of your mouth. Do you remember when you did the uh, sound effects for an entire episode? Yeah, for an entire episode. <laughs> that was and funny. Right, there's no way I'm going to load this on manually. So. This is just amazing. Oh, I'm nearly at the factory already. Yeah. Check this out, Frank. Hang on, we've got to come to the not. It's not massive, it's just long. I was doing... Yep. That's one item. See you on the back? Where are you? Uh, I'm in Black River. I've just gone up to uh, the service hub in Black River. I've now got to head back into the Smithfield Dam. Oops. <laughs> Okay. I think you're going to like the Smithfield Dam. It's a nice, nice, oh, nicer yeah, area. Sort of, yeah. There's nothing. Uh, I don't think there's anything interesting inside the cab. Of what? Of the zill. zill. The, the um, I do like the um, the instrument panel, though. Oh yeah. Is it glowy and pretty? Yeah, it's sort of a green glow. Cool. Okay, I've got and to take uh, this nice and wide. The, um, the, the instruments are working. Cool. Yeah, they should be, yeah. Now, jackknife with this. I'm screaming down this hill. Look at me praying, look at me praying, look at Sorry, me praying, look at me praying. I'm screaming down this hill. Do not want a jackknife. Uh, there's water ahead. Break. Good grief. Just be aware if you get into trouble with that one, it's quite big trouble. Yes, yes, I'm fully aware of that. That's why I was saying I really don't want to jackknife this. God, this thing's really nifty. Yeah? Yeah. Is it better than the uh, Kras? Well... Truck drivers get hurt sick a lot. One of the highest rates of injury in this country is in the computer. Say, Weeks at the time. Some truck drivers have symptoms of post-traumatic stress syndrome. Oh, that was a long one. I'd say that um, might not be as powerful as, but it's I just it's more manoeuvrable. Okay, cool. So for for smaller jobs, it's just as good, if not better, kind of. Thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you know what's annoying? You know how I was saying when you travel between places, it puts your handbrake on. So you drive up to the tunnel and you tap yeah. a button and it travels you through. It takes a second to load. Um, and you put your mm. handbrake... It puts your handbrake on. It also turns your lights off. Yeah. Like, I don't feel it's... I, I appreciate the the handbrake thing because Sorry, if someone... Sorry, what are you saying? Okay. When you travel between maps, you drive up to the tunnel, you get in a square and you press X and it takes a second. It put, Loading screen comes up with a fact on it and then you appear in the next map along, right? Sorry, could you say it again? When you travel between maps... No, I was concentrating on something else. You just need to say it in we'll a just, nice... We'll just say yes at the end of each bit so I know that you're listening. Oh, when no, you travel this is between weird. maps... Weird! What's happening? Sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, you don't let me finish my stories! I get halfway <laughs> through and then you start going, who are you are? Good grief. I'm just getting my arm back. And that happened just sort of... Um, naturally, it wasn't... Uh, I wasn't doing it on purpose. Sorry, go on. You can make talk now. When you travel between maps... When I travel between maps... You drive up to the tunnel... Up the tunnel. Up to the tunnel. To the tunnel. To a glowing square. On. No, no, to a glowing square, and you press X, or whatever the button is. Yeah. It then fades out and gives you a fact and a loading screen, and then you appear in the next area, right? Yeah. And it puts your handbrake on. 
Now, I appreciate it's a little bit annoying because you've been driving fast up to it. I appreciate why you might do it because if someone was on a computer that was quite slow and it took forever to load, they might put their controller or keyboard down and walk away and do something and come back. And if it was on a slight angle, you'd have rolled down to the hill and crashed. So I kind of get that. But why it turns your lights off is beyond me because you have to just turn them back on. Well, I would, it would um, well, see the battery, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, but that's not in the battery, isn't in the game. Oh, okay. Maybe they're going to make that something. Don't tempt them. Yeah, yeah. The SDS crew might be listening. They'll make that and it'll make our lives even harder. Yes. Deliver the battery to the, <laughs> to the dead crass before you can refill it. <laughs> oh, no. I suppose that's just the same as re uh, yeah, recovery, logs or uh, repair, isn't it? Yeah. You know? I still haven't popped a tyre in this game, you know. You ain't lived until you popped a tyre in Have Snowden. you popped one after the... You no. Know, since the, you no. Know. Oh, that's funny. There's one of these trucks here. What? Nothing. It's just I've just I'm come I'm driving this truck. massive trailer through town and there's these bloody fire hydrants that I keep oh, no. on getting caught on. Have oh, you no. driven it through town? Yeah. Um, I've driven... I've driven it somewhere. I'm just trying to... trying to think and had that problem. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, you, you got caught on the um, trees, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, this is horrid. I'm just going to swipe out the corner of this person's um, garden. I'll just use it as a, a crossing point. <laughs> Look at this frame. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I know, that, that, that's the problem really, isn't it? Sorry! Yeah. I'm awfully sorry about that. I'd offer to pay, but uh, I don't really want to. There's an explosive barrel here. Oh, for crying out loud. It's just excruciating. Oh, I see the metal detector module. Yeah, the two oh, things fold out on the side. Well, where's the... Uh... The what? Oh, okay, okay. The what? Well, it should say cell. What? Oh, yes, I've got it. That's all right. Do you know what's happened now, don't you? Don't you? I don't know. I've lost... I've lost my Yaz. Have you tried looking behind the sofa? Oh no, there it is. It's in the thingy. there. God, this has been fun delivering this drill. Look okay, yeah. at that. You haven't delivered into drill. How do you know? <laughs> um, sorry, I was just agreeing with you just for no particular reason. Okay. Well, next time I would like a, not just a particular reason, but a highly specific reason. Okay. Metal bones, Pinewood Express, fuel station, upgrade. Metal beams? <laughs> In the time storage. Okay. Flatbed trailer. Yes. Mm. Okay. Tell you what, this is nasty. Oh, 
Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to go to the Smithfield Dam pretty soon in any case. Yeah, that you do get to a point where you really need to start going there. Let's get the old diff lock on. Oh, that's doing the trick. It's the first time, I think, in since the very beginning of the game, playing this game, that I've actually used the low range gear. Hmm. No visible attachment points. You got a trailer? Can you recover that one in the garage? Does it just I don't recover think so. the trailer? I don't think so. Or can you? You need to drag it back to like a yes, yeah, uh, trailer thing. Yeah. All visible or what? attachment points. Attachment points. Ooh, come on, let's not go that way. Perhaps this isn't the best way to do this. Can I get back down here? It's weird, you know, to have, like, considering you can't stall in this game and considering we don't have real gears, so to speak, with the controller, do you not think it's quite weird that there's a neutral? Like, can you think of any purpose that neutral gear so serves in this? Well, you might need it for some of the cranes, where the engine is powering the crane mechanism. Is that a thing in this game? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's not... Um, we didn't turn the engine off, did we? Well, yeah, I see what you mean. You can't stall, so... We're going to have to try ourselves a different method here. Oh, cock. Not going to fit around there, am I? I'll it's made, straight been made a lot simpler in some respects to, to um, facilitate more people, possibly. Oh, no. What? What? Oh, no. What? I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> You're constantly going the wrong way, picking up the wrong loads. Good grief. I do love those windmills. I really do. Love what? The windmills. The windmills? Yeah, the, like the wind turbines. Oh, the wind turbines. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Um... Boats you float. Whatever arouges your canoe. <laughs> A room. What a numptidal time. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, I was, oh, I was thinking that. of a condition if we were put in a, you know, a special hospital. And not that, you know, I want to encourage any kind of stigma. I'm not of going that. back there, okay. <laughs> not that I want to encourage any kind of stigma of that because, you know, there's certainly a. a, a, a place for that and they obviously are able to help people a lot but uh, I think acute num numptyism <laughs> will be our condition yep severe acute numptyism well I I'm acute numptyism you're kind of you know not too bad looking but uh <laughs> <laughs> A bit rough around the edges. <laughs> <laughs> you doing all right? No, you've upset me. <laughs> um, no, I'm battling with a winch at the moment, trying to turn this thing. That have you still got this big gum? Yeah, yeah. I'm having to go a much longer route to deliver it. Unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, the turn I've just done is pretty, pretty <laughs> legendary, really. <laughs> I know. Uh, you know, in the back of the um, beyond, 
No, the back of the wood shop. Yeah. Like where you have to go around to um, to take the um, to build the uh, that little bridge. Yeah. I I tried to get to the drilling site via there, but I just couldn't get up that little slope just behind the um, no. wood place. And then I tried to go the other way, and you know, there's that like right angle turn with a heap of wood around it. I was like, there's no way I'm getting through that. Look, steady Do you remember the first day that we played this and it was just constantly being stuck in mud, like permanently? Yeah. I'm trying to forget it. <laughs> oh, shivers. <laughs> Look at this prank. And you might need to do it quite quickly. See that thing there? That's from the top of one of these little posts because I drove it, I clipped it, and I, I almost flipped myself over by clipping it. Right. It was quite a significant thing. Sorry, I wasn't sure if it was going to disappear, but I've just got a bit of one of the uh, posts, the little light that's sitting on my truck, and normally they just disappear. Oh, yeah, it's just floated away. Oh, and it's, it's in the air, and it's slowly floating to the ground about the speed of a feather, uh, and it's just floated through the ground. You all right? Yeah, I had uh, rapid. Um so, are you heading over to Smithville? I don't know. No. Oh. Where are you heading to? Are you still trying to get back to. <laughs> well, <laughs> in the meantime, I've delivered, I took out the Zill, and I delivered. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Are you doing hopping between trucks when you don't need to? I don't mind. You can play however the hell you want. Um, well, at the moment, I was going to tow the Zill back. And it may have been easier because I could have manoeuvred around this trailer better. Yeah. But I just got rid of it sure. back to the garage and then jumped back in this one on the map. Because I'm just a bit sort yeah, of... you do whatever you want. I don't mind. I'm kind of just like, you know, I, I still want things to be a challenge and to enjoy it, but I just, I don't want to excruciatingly do it with like, you know, no one watching in it and not being a proper season. Like if we were doing it as a proper season, then I would. But oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just here to have a bit of fun, you know. Yeah, well, so am I. And when I get a bit fed up doing something, I just jump to something yeah. else, really, yeah, you know. Yeah, for sure. I know what I should have done when I had the Zill well, at this truck is top this one up I'm a bit low on fuel ah uh, yeah I've just topped mine up on fuel I'm struggling to get up this hill at the moment sorry to hear that old prank that's alright I don't think I'm that far away from the fuel station Well, if you can see a, a watchtower, you are, because I'm at the fuel station and I can't see a watchtower. I'm right at a watchtower. And I can see a watchtower. Yeah. But I'm on the level and it's all downhill. Oh, yeah, I, see, I think I know where you are now. Maybe I don't, I don't know. I'll see you in a minute. No, I won't, we've been single player. If I haven't been going the wrong way. No, I'm right. Cool. I'm really struggling to get this thing up the hill. Yeah. Was that in Smithfield? No, no, I'm, I, I'm back in. Um, I'm basically the same, but you are. I, I'm, I'm driving away from the fuel station that you're driving to, okay. up towards you, up oh, towards right. the bridge. So you're gonna tell me where you are. I'm going underneath the power, big power lines at the moment. Um. 
Oh, just well, a bit I'm, of I'm literally just at the not the bridge we built the very first day that we played, but the next bridge that yeah, we built. Yeah, I know. I've so got that in almost in whoops in view. Like, yeah, I'm on it right now. Yeah, I can see it. I can see the. I bridge. Think say you can see me. I was gonna, no, no I can see the bridge. Oh, it's I'm just like excruciating trying way. to get onto it. Yes. <laughs> With this bloody thing. Yeah, I'm just Be it better the way you're coming, but the other way is a bit nasty. I tell you what's better is Kop, uh, Kabinsky view. Yeah, but it's not it's not so much about aiming onto it, it's about getting the trailer on, so you need to be able to look at the trailer. Yes, but you can... I've found that... Now, I'm probably... I'm just on a bit of mud now. Mm-hmm. And I'm sort of... Are you still on the bridge? Uh, I'm just past the bridge. I'm yeah, on the, well, I'm you on should the, be... I should be seeing you I'm right on the in tarmac. front of me. Yeah, I'm I've just got I, I've, I've, the um, crash barrier on my left your right has just disappeared and I'm just coming up to some mud I'm just yeah, leaving I'm the tarmac I'm on the mud now. I'm on the mud we're yeah. sort of probably We've, we're just, I, a 55 I can see kilometer. the tree that's on your left and right yeah. I, I can see them as well yeah, I, yeah my, my tail is at the 55 kilometer yeah well my nose is there hello hello we've just driven through each other yeah it's quite cute how often we sort of meet up yeah I mean I suppose we're playing on the same map and you know, the main, main, main ways. So you had trouble getting off the, on the bridge? Yeah, in the other direction. The yes. direction you're going is pretty much fine because you've got a straight yep. engagement to it, but then the yep. other way... That's it, I'm there. I'm rattling down over the hill now. He's rattling down over the hill. He's rattling down over the hill. He is rattling down over, rattling down over Ooh, the hill. Oh, I hit something. A lot of damage has gone on there. Oh, wow. I think just how wide fun. you've got to swing this thing. Yeah, oh yeah, it's another... It's something we never had to really experience in uh, Mudrunner, is it? That's right. And we had somewhat long trailers, but nothing yeah. like this. And he's at the Ooh. garage! The garage? Yeah, that, sorry, the, the fuel filling station. station. There's fuel. I was going to say, blimey, you're driving quick. Man, you I don't know whether this is the best about. option, but oh well. Okay. But if you get him paid the big bucks for this mission, it's tough. Yeah. That's a pretty tight turn for this trailer. I'm not happy about this. Can't they just helicopter this stuff in? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, no! <laughs> Look at this, Dad. Look at this. You've got all this to come, Prang. Lovely. I look forward to it. Punctions. Detach trailer. It is good fun. I just really hope I don't flip it. No, 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 no. Well, that was good. That was a little ninja winch up in there. So, where are you now? Um, do you want to look at my map? Whoops. I'm down here. Well, that's the fuel station you were just at a minute ago. Oh, okay. That's the garage. That's the drilling yeah, site. I'm and I'm down here. I know, I've been down there. So, you're underneath the power lines. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Okay, no. Oh, my my truck looks really pretty with the yellow cab. Oh, so you're picking up the uh, that yep. one now. Nice. Oh, I tell you what, this is not easy to get over some of these bits. I got some funky radio going now. Funky radio. Yeah. Sing sort it of to me. I can't. It just sounds like a radio. Like that? Oh, yes, I know. that. Whenever you go in the um, the um, uh, fuel station, you get that. Yeah. Oh, 
Come on. Oh, I've bloody turtled in this thing. You're good at that, aren't you? Well, you're the turtle king. Don't you go saying mean things about me. Oh, in fairness, this trailer's got a lot of winch points. We'll give it that. Oh, come on. Oh, wow, look at the, the head of this drill thing. It's amazing. It's got like three balls that spin around. Ooh. Like with teeth on. Yeah. Not that that helps me right now, but... That would make any difference. Oops. Oh! Blimey! What did you do that for? I really am well and truly. Um. Torty. Tur what is it called? Turtling. Turtled. Toitling. Mr. Toidle. Mr. Toidle. There's about two or three. Fire extinguishers on that little fire extinguishers on the back of this tanker, but someone tells you they're Blimey. not going to be that good. Yeah, <laughs> so pathetically tiny. Yeah. Oh, I've got the bloody handbrake on. That's half the reason. It's embarrassing. Oh my goodness, this is excruciating. How on earth am I meant to get through here? <sighs> the winch pulling me backwards and it ain't... Oh, no, now it's working. Okay, there we go. So how can I get this... to come up here more successfully? Maybe if I do it like this. That's exactly what I just did, you utter numpty. <sighs> I wonder. I just pulled down a really big tree a second ago. I wonder if I could just head down there. Well, I could if I could friggin' reverse. If I took my brake off, that might make it slightly easier, but still, we won't think too hard about that. <clears throat> this is just excruciating. You want class, my son. Well, it's not even the truck, it's the trailer. Do you know what I'm saying? Yep. I oh, know, I've used like, that trailer a few times. It's, and like, can you see the bit... Uh, I can't zoom out enough to really give you a good enough view of this. But I'm trying to get it up here, and it that foot is getting caught. Oh, okay. And so oh, that... Oh, oh, what? oh, oh! <laughs> I started rolling back down the road. Oh, okay. Because I kept my foot on the brake. <laughs> I was like, just, I thought, why is my screen moving? I was lucky there. Yeah. Um, like, this is my second attempt at like a totally different direction. I started by trying to go over the other side of the uh, okay. hill, like of the river. Have rather. you tried um, 
turning it on and turning it off. No, sorry. Have you tried the um, slingshot method? Yes, absolutely. Any weird sort of way absolutely. of spinning that thing around? Absolutely. It doesn't like moving very much, does it? No. No, I know. Now, the same runs true for... Um, oh, um, this might be looking successful. Mudrunner. Much as, you know, you make one little mistake and you spend hours trying to yeah. overcome it just because you think you're trying to be clever and do things fast, whereas you just take it slowly. Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, why? Let's try getting a, uh, a winch up here. I, I think I'm getting a bit of a purchase. Yeah, what happened there? I don't know. Maybe I'm driven out of this area. Oh no, that's gone. But I didn't accept any money. You might have accepted it if you accidentally pressed the accept button. Okay, I didn't see that, you know. Oh well. The, thing, the thing's gone. I did delivered, yeah. Okay. Um. Come on, please, 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 please. Yes! He's got through that blasted bit of mud and... Oh, crap. Look at the bit of mud ahead. More mud? Yeah. and Well, another mound is the issue, not the mud itself. Beautiful Zill. Beauty Zill. Beautiful grass. Beautiful Zill. Oh, what a beautiful sail! Oh, what a beautiful day! Okay. Oh, this is just excruciating. How do people get this through? I bet they went in the one other way that I didn't go. But I'm kind of stuck down here. I can't actually get backwards. If I did that, if that would work. I've got a plan which may be wildly successful or incredibly unfruitful and put me in a worse position than I was to start with. You know those kinds of plans? Yep. Of course I do. I invented them. <laughs> Come on. Oh, this is excruciating. Oh, here we go. There's a bit of movement. Maybe a little bit though. <sighs> Come on. It's just so painful. Just so painful. No one can hear you.
<laughs> it was really gross. Just tried to speak in my microphone. I've been down there. Yeah, but have you been down here with this trailer? Oh, I can't remember now. Um, you I think you I would bloody no. remember it. Let me tell you that. Well, if I start, I think you need bigger tyres. Well, thanks for that, Frank. I can't actually get bigger tyres. No, I, I probably have wouldn't truck. have. Wouldn't have. I don't think I would have. Um, do you mean to say you can't get any bigger tyres on that truck? I, not without. Not until I've um, levelled up and got access to it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. We'll buy another truck. Keep bought another um, truck. I don't have many options, Prang. Okay. Well, you can always get a modded truck. Well, yeah, but I'm enjoying using these trucks. And then once I've used these... Oh, I will stop complaining. I can complain. Can you told me how to do I that. Can complain. Yeah. Here we go. I suppose I could have come down there. I don't know. That might have been easier. Oh well. Olelski. George Owell. So you built this bridge, haven't you? Yeah. Cool. We <sighs> built this bridge out of rock and roll. We built this bridge out of wood and wood. This is going to be good. Is it? Yeah. Why, is the bridge going to crumble from underneath me? Well, it could do. Don't say that. <laughs> You have no idea how many ways I've tried this, and I don't even think this is the best way. Excellent. Thank you. Come on! I just need to get it over there. there. There's a thinner flatbed trailer which can take five. Yeah, points. no, I just... For some reason I got this one and I really regret it. I I just wanted to be just like you, Captain Prankster. <laughs> that's what I don't I'm know why. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> 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 I was back in season 10. I watch Hawkreach and Captain Prank to get all my tips. Oh no... This was that trailer I was talking about that uh, you find left around the place. Oh, okay. You hook up to it and use some of its repair and it's got heaps of repair and fuel in it. So. Which you might need to, to be honest. So where, where, where did you pick up that load? In the Smithfield Dam. Oh, okay. See, I built that. Yeah. That was an empty place before I was here, and now I've got to cons uh, got to deliver a construction rig semi trailer. Where's that? Bet you it's in the Smithfield Dam. Oh no! Oh, that's the one up in the in the um, factory. Bloody factory, yeah. Cool. Uh, no, I don't want to restart. Definitely no. If I'd known that about five minutes ago, I could have dragged that one down. <laughs> well, I also looked around to see if I could find the mission that used it. Because yeah. um, I also was in that position. Um, okay. No, I couldn't have brought... Well, yeah, I could have brought it back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it caught my throat. So if you came from Smithfield <laughs> Dam, couldn't you have got across that other point? Okay. I came in through Smithfield Dam, right? Yeah. I went down here, yeah. around here, and I thought, there's no way I'm going to bother going through there, because that's all marsh, right? Yeah. So I came down here, through here, I went down to the here, oh and I went up goodness. here, and I couldn't get up that hill. Oh, my goodness. For love, not nothing. So I thought, like, screw it, I'm going to go around here. So I came up here, I came up here, I came oh up here, I went to there, I went 
up here, and you remember this is where we crossed paths, yeah. mm-hmm. and I came around here, down here, and I got oh, stuck goodness. forever there, yeah. Yeah. And, and then I finally got across there to park yeah. there, and now I've got to get it back out and take it back up to, like, here or something. Yeah, I know. Because uh, if I go recover, it'll say, um, do you wish to recover to the garage? Remove trailer. See? So it'll remove your trailer. Yeah, but if you detach from it, it'll just stay there. Yeah, but it's quite expensive. Well... No, oh, screw it. I can't be like getting it out of here at the moment. Well, just leave it there. You might need it when you've got a slightly bigger truck. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I do love how that it sort of yeah. gets a bit, yeah. Hey, I wonder if you could drive something on the back of it. Oh, yeah, for sure. You, um, the, even the first day of Mudrunner, there were people piling up like seven, like four cars on it, four vehicles on it, you know mm. what I mean? It might not, they might not remain on there. Um, I think they did. I don't know, I can't remember if he was driving or not. So, is this the same truck? Yeah. Okay. Just recovered at the garage. Now I've got to head up and, uh, and get the um, thing from the factory. What's the factory? The big load. Oh, right. That we yeah. just discussed. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeehaw! Yeah, it looks as though it's dry, doesn't it, until you get in there. Yeah, I mean, this is not in all-wheel drive yet. Have you got double tyres on the back? No. That's that's, when I get to the next level, then I'll be able to get double tyres on the back. Um, So I'm currently on level eight, so I need to get to level nine, rank nine. No, I'm saying, are there eight tyres on the back of the truck? No, there are four. Okay, I can't see from here. But when I upgrade to the next level, there will be eight, because I will get double tyres. Why do you want double tyres? More surface area? You're, not, you're off access from that microphone, we probably won't be able to hear you very well. Ah, uh, okay, no. Why do you want... Um, well, just like more, more physical yeah, area, so I imagine more traction. After that conversation we had yesterday about um, off-road, it's better to have single <laughs> tyres. I don't know. Okay. It's, it's the yeah. next level up. Well, yeah, but okay. That's so, fine. and it's it's fine. also like it doesn't directly um, represent real life with the extra things. It actually is just. Mm. Mm. Okay. I think I'm going to um, leave the room. Okay. Okay. Are you that offended by double tyres? Or yeah, like they're I can't stand watching people driving with double tyres. I haven't got double tyres. That's the point. Stop kicking your microphone stand. Um, stop calling me stand. <laughs> Hello, this is microphone stand. No, I just, uh, it's late at night and I want to go to bed. Well, go to bed. Yeah, that's why I'm going to leave the room. Okay, go to bed. Okay. It's just you and me now, folks. <laughs> Frank just headbutt my microphone stand and rammed the microphone into my mouth. <laughs> what a twonk. Oh. <laughs> that, is, that is such a numptuous thing to do. I don't know about you folks, but uh, I don't think I could possibly imagine a more numptuous thing to do. Now, I hope that I won't roll over here now that I've not got a back on. And I'll go up here and I'll pass the um, scout and the um, Khan. I'll go up to the factory and load up and then I'll, I'll, I'll leave things there, I think. Um, so let's, let's get going. I still quite like this place over there with the little... It's like an electric substation, mini substation thing, but it, it looked like a children's playset at first.
So... Should have the car... Yeah, here they are. Here they are. And keep going. Oh, I've got to take this there as well. It's going to be a nightmare. I think I'm going to try taking it down the other way. That I, the one way that I haven't tried yet. Although I do have to go through some swamps, I think that's the only way that's smooth and flat. I think, I think it's designed like that to try and trick you into not going that way. Or maybe I'm just getting paranoid. The latter is probably the most likely, to be honest. Well, I seem to have uh, stopped following the task, unfortunately. Not a drill. Start tracking. There we go. Yeah, just over there. And off we go. Good right away, and there we go, we see the big pole, so we know that we're getting close to the factory. Nice little save over there on the right. Always good to know. Beautiful. Whoa, that was a quite an excessive spin there. Do these roll when I drive over them? I'm not doing a very good job of driving over them, are I? No, they seem to stay static. It's a little bit sad, but oh well. <sighs> not that I had any plans for them. Oh, close functions. There we go. Well, this is quite a large trailer. I've decided I'm going to drive it a little way. Um, but which way am I fully going to take it? I'm going to take it down here. Mm. Now I'll take it down here, through here, over here. Or will I? Do you reckon I can get it through there? Go on, live a little. If I can get it through there, then I can take it through there, and that's probably the easiest route. Go on, live a little. Live a little. Just gotta swing this so wide. It's gonna hit the... It's gonna hit that... It's gonna hit the... the yeah, I'm sure I'm hitting... Yeah, my, I, I am... I'm clipping through the, um... The, you know, electricity cables or telephone cables or whatever they are. Probably electricity, but who knows. Mm, that was nasty. Get this thing back on the road. Ooh! No! Oh! So the thing to remember is that this is very wide on the right hand side. Wider on the right than it is on the left. Wider on the right than it is on the left. Wider on the right than it is on the left. Okay. So we don't turn left here, we take a right and keep our fingers crossed that we're going to be able to do this. It also seems to be heavier on the right, which is even scarier. Like, it makes sense, but... Oh, it gets very wobbly! Very wobbly! 
very wobbly, very, 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 very wobbly. Sorry, I'm just very stressed and tired. Come on, up we go. Come on, steady does it. Steady does it, Captain. No, I'm not the Captain. The other guy's the Practon, the Crapton, the Crapton, the Crapton, the Crapton, the Crapton, the Crapton, the Crapton. <laughs> I'm gonna call him that next time. I'll have to keep that a secret from him so I can surprise him with his new name. Oh, this is gonna be bad! I think I might make it over. Yes, of course he's done it! I think the positive thing is that a, a slightly right hand heavy load I think will be of benefit when going through the water because it sort of leans in to the, um, the flow rather than away from the flow which would help the flow push it over. Does that make sense? Um, now for now, let's just try conserving a little bit of fuel. I've chosen to do this while going up a hill, which is a terrible idea. When we get to go downhill, let's take off all-wheel drive to try and conserve a bit more fuel. And let's stick up on the right-hand side here to try and keep uh, the trailer from going too far left. Except, of course, we're stuck. Come on. Come on, give me a, give me a. Let's, uh, let's do, um, one of these. There we go. That's the trick. That's the ticket. Except now we've got the tree that I've pushed down in front of me, which is becoming problematic. Now that winch isn't going to help me much more. Well, but this one is. be all I need. Come on. Oh, yes, and now I can attach to that. Now it's soaking. Well, and there's the, just in the distance, there is the thing that this is going for. Half built. I'm going to be conscious of that fuel, because it's getting, it's getting down. can't remember if I fueled this up on the way there. No, I, I didn't go via the fuel station, so... So it was only fueled up at the garage. All right, well, that's not too bad. That means it's lasted me longer than I thought. There we go. So can... Here's the question. Can people who are on, like, Xboxes and whatnot, can they only do a quick winch? And why can't I drive? rock behind me there. Is that the problem? Oh, I reckon I'm turtling. Am I? I don't think so. Um, whoops. Oh, that's cool. There's a little winch point up the top of these. Right, let's try a bit of that. See if that'll, uh... Oh, it's tilting a bit. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. Oh. Hmm. This is tricky. I wasn't expecting to get stuck here. I think it's just that it's a... No, I can't... It can't be the curve. Let's just try reversing a bit and just coming at this from a different... angle. So I'll probably do this and I'll just drive straight through and it'll be fine. <laughs> I 
have hit 50% fuel though, which is not all that nice. So now I'm stuck here, which is surprising, but hopefully if I was stuck there and not up ahead, it would be nice. Come on. Come on! It's just excruciating. This this part, this aspect of the game is just the bit that's just not fun. In any any form, like you just the thing is. You cannot, for any reason, explain why you are struggling here. I can't see any rocks, you know, of any kind of, s of substance. I'm not catching on the ground. I mean, there's a pebble just there, but that wouldn't be doing this. Um, you know, I can't see any reason back here that there's a problem. And yet, for some reason, I'm grounded. And it's just like, why? I suppose, I suppose, in fairness, that is actually pulling me uh, slightly forwards, but I wonder if I just try it without any kind of winch. I mean, that's definitely forwards, so. Come on. What? Well, like, why am I stuck? I wonder, I wonder if it's to do with torque or something. I wonder if I um, go into low range and then put on the diff lock, then drive, and, and winch. I just, what on earth can I be stuck on? There's literally nothing. Literally nothing. Why on earth can I not move anywhere? I'm burning through fuel. I'm literally winching on a completely solid object. So why that is not getting me anywhere is absolutely beyond me. Oh, hang on. Let's go into order for a minute. Oh, wrong one. Because it lets me go back quite happily, which is the really weird thing. Because you'd think it would at least start to be not working. Like going backwards if I was wedged on something. Um... I've ended up sort of wonk wonking myself over here. So the fact that I roll back a bit makes me think I might be caught on something. I mean, there's that minuscule rock, but I can't imagine that that's it. Yeah, given that the thing moves over the top of it. So what is stuck? Seriously, what on earth is stopping me from driving? Oh, hang on. That's a fair bit of movement. But I'm just burning through so much fuel, and I have no idea why. I should just drive forwards. Why on earth am I not able to do that? Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Can this... No, oh, that's a pity. It's just excruciating. Like, it's completely inexplicable. I haven't got any meaningful winch points other than this one, which really isn't meaningful. But... These are the bits of this game that are just not in any way enjoyable. When you just... It just, for some reason, is not functioning correctly. It's not snagging on anything. Oh! And why does it suddenly magically work? No one knows. I almost wish I was still stuck, to be honest. And why am I struggling here? For crying out loud! Prangs out the back making smart comments. No visible attachment points for crying out loud. I thought, oh yeah, this will be a nice quick route to take it down. Come on. Have I got like, do you reckon I've got like a rock that's wedged in somewhere? I mean, I feel like I've got a rock wedged up somewhere very, not very nice. Put um, 
Go into low range and put the diff lock ski on. Diff lock is only available in low gear. I am in low gear. Oh, and I have to take off the clutch to make it register that. This is interesting. I've got diff lock on, and yet I see my rear wheels moving at quite different speeds. Oh, that's it. There we go. There we go. See, now the problem is, is that I'm on bugger all fuel. Um, because I've had to waste a heap of it going through that crap. Um, so I don't know whether I'm going to make it there. In fact, I'm highly doubtful that I will. I might be able to make it across the other side of the river. Oh, that's going to crush. But that's about it. So I'm not, not bothering to take this down. Oh, for crying out loud. My wheel's over the side. I basically have to ram my engine into the sides just to ensure that the um, back doesn't get caught. And so I'm taking a heap of damage because of that. Somehow, I'm, uh, you know, expect myself to magically get across this, which has been a struggle in just about every vehicle I've taken across, except for the Khan. And this is not as adept as the Khan. So I just... Oh. Hello? Yeah. It's just not a good day for me, alright? <laughs> Do a bit of concentrating here. I wonder if I can put it in low range here and it'll use less fuel and be a bit more meaningful. If this falls over, I'm just going to cry. Mind you, I wouldn't be surprised if it did fall over, to be honest. It's just excruciating. No, I already pressed B, thank you very much. Okay, now we've got some movement. Let's turn into that. There we go. Okay. I'm going to have to leave this here, folks, because I'm getting exhausted and frustrated. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Captain Prang up until recently. Um, no, I haven't been Captain Prang. So you're seeing I'm getting tired. I've been Hawkreach. Up until recently, Captain Prang's been Captain Prang. Um... You've been wonderful. See you next time. Oh, what a, what a stretch.